Today, I'm going to talk about seven very important privacy tools that every single one of you who happens to own a phone, a tablet, or a computer should have going in to this next calendar year because there's been a lot of changes around the planet in laws concerning the internet and you want to keep yourself private and secure. No longer is having a VPN enough. While VPNs are important, I'm going to discuss the next step, some of the most important steps in today's video in operation must have privacy tools. Okay, so there's seven I want to talk about in this video. I'm actually going to be doing subsequent tutorials on a handful of these because they're that important. So you're going to want to watch through each one of these and see what I have to say. Several of them I've never talked about before and several of them I've never talked about in depth. So it's pretty important. Before I get into that, I do want to say thank you for all of you who subscribe to my new newsletter. My first issue went out this last Thursday. It comes out every Thursday. If you haven't subscribed yet, first link down below, free newsletter every Thursday, blacklisted. It's basically all the information you can't find on the internet because free speech no longer exists, especially on the internet. And we go deep. I want to thank you to all of the amazing comments and messages I got about the newsletter. Yeah, we go really deep. I talk to my sources in governments and in intelligence agencies, and the newsletter is no fluff, no sales, no marketing, no hype, just 100% pure content about subjects that are completely blacklisted and restricted across the internet. So if you haven't subscribed, check it out. You'll only get one email from me once a week. Make sure you put in the right email because I did have a handful of you guys bounce, so please put in the right email. But yes, it goes out every Thursday and I want to thank you. Let's go ahead and get into the list of the seven. The first one is Pie Hole. Now, they could have probably came up with a better name, but Raspberry Pi is killing it. Encrypted DNS is important. Now, if you use Linux like I do, you can actually run Pie Hole in a container or you can run it standalone on a server. A lot of you have said, well, I don't have a server. You can get a virtual private server at 1984. I'm a huge fan of 1984. Also, Orange Websites is very, very good. I like both these, but 1984 is one of my preferred hosting sites just based on quality and consistency. Their freedom of speech laws, censor proof. I've never had a website be able to be taken down from them while I have with a couple of American hosts. So, 1984 is a good option. You don't have a private server. But even if you don't have your own server, you can still use Pi Hole in containers on Linux, and I strongly recommend it. Raspberry Pis are becoming vital. Gone are the days where I use thumb drives for tails. Now I use Raspberry Pi for a lot of things. The next one is Stealth X. Now, if you are into Bitcoin, which I hope you are, if you're into Monero, which I really hope you are for necessity, Stealth X is great for doing swaps. They accept Bitcoin and Monero. I highly recommend you check out Stealth X. A lot has changed in the crypto industry recently. In fact, I've been getting a lot of questions because we have the new speaker, which I talked about in my newsletter, some of the stuff that will be happening, some of the laws, the bills. I recently been talking to a handful of people in Congress, kind of adjacent from the State Department, not directly in the State Department, but with some of the things happening. And a lot of you guys have been asking me about ghost businesses. Now, I did my last video talking about CTAs, Corporate Transparency Acts, and how that will affect some people, won't affect others. So if you haven't seen it, you should probably check it out because it's vital if you have any kind of business whatsoever or want to be able to partake in crypto. But some things have really changed. Stealth X is a great additional swap option that I've been using a lot and I recommend all of you check out. If you haven't become ghost yet, what I'm gonna do is for the next 15 people who sign up for my ghost program, there's a new company that we partnered with where we're doing trusts that are basically crypto only based trusts. And the reason we're able to do this is because the new laws that just happened in six different jurisdictions that are now pairing and allowing it to be in US dollar. I've told you guys that the United States government is putting the fear of everything into people, but they're setting up the back route 
for businesses. All the carve outs are for businesses. This is why so many people are finally waking up to the fact that you cannot have crypto in your name. You have to have it through businesses. Now for all my current clients, don't worry, I will be helping you with this process. But for the next 15 people who sign up for the ghost program, second link down below, get ghosted. I'm going to personally help you set up these trusts as part of it. Now, this is a very big deal because this is going to be very expensive moving forward. After these 15 people, this is going to be a separate program that is way more expensive than anything I've ever had on my site for the average person. But it's because the time it takes to set these up is extremely involved. It's the most involved thing I've ever done in my life. I'm going to do it for 15 people because I just did it for myself. So I know the process inside now. I've also done it for several corporate clients. But for the next 15 people, I'm going to personally do it, not my team, but myself, because I'm going to walk you through the steps. And then, like I said, after that, it's going to be a separate program. People currently in the ghost program, I'm going to be helping you with this process as well. But I want to use 15 people as kind of like uh, a showcase for myself. So you benefit and save tens of thousands of dollars, really, by signing up now and then me being able to showcase it. And of course, I do guarantee all of them, so you don't have to worry about that, and I'll personally be doing it. So next 15 people, I can only open up 15 people because that's all I'm going to be able to manage personally because, like I said, I'm personally going to be doing this for you. So that's what I want to say, but Stealth Exchange is incredible, or Stealth X, E-X. You know, check out the site. IPFS, now some of you might be surprised, but a lot of people consider this the gateway to Web3. People always ask me, aren't you against Web3? Aren't you against AI? Well, at its core, I absolutely am. But the reality is, I don't have the, I'm not a superhero. I don't have the ability to stop AI. I don't have the ability to stop Web3. So you've got to embrace it for what they are. Web3 is actually gonna be incredible. There's gonna be a lot of value to Web3, but the Web3 I envision and other people who envision a Web3 that's private, secure, and has decentralization might look a little bit different than what some governments would like Web3 to look like. So IPFS is very important that you start familiarizing yourself with that. I've been using portals in Linux, which is one thing I'm gonna do a tutorial on because I've been actually doing all my exchanges, and you can do this on StealthX, your exchanges, your swaps, Bitcoin, Monero, and other coins, specifically on Web3, which is decentralized blockchain, and you can use a privacy host, which allows a layer of anonymity, something you cannot do on Web2. So if you go to www.whatever, not possible. But on IPFS, it is possible because it's the gateway, it's the entrance to Web3. Now, Web3 doesn't exist in the way that it will in the next five years, the next seven years, but it's starting to get us there. So check it out. Notes Nook is vital, and I've talked about some different note-taking and business apps. I get asked all the time, what options do I use? This is encrypted, audited, can be set up to be decentralized, be able to transact and utilize Bitcoin, and it's an option to keep your data secure. The problem with most messengers and emails, and I talked about this in my recent newsletter, about what is happening with the NSA and quantum computing and the breakthroughs that have recently been made with AI. So you've got the 5G, which is the lifeblood, the AI, which is the harpoon right through everything that we thought was private and secure, and then quantum computing that can crack most encryption in its sleep is becoming a vital problem. So taking this to the next level, running it on Raspberry Pis through pie hole or other removable air gap solutions because just leaving everything running constantly on the internet like we've done for decades now is becoming a serious problem. You almost have to have a guard up. And these are ways you can do it without spending exorbitant amounts of money. This doesn't cost hundreds of dollars. This doesn't cost dozens of dollars, right? This is something you can do very inexpensive, but it's gonna give you high level security based on the average person. Now, right now, those three things I mentioned are not where they're supposed to be, where they're going, where they're envisioned, but they're heading in that direction. So you might as well cut it off at the pass and start preparing yourself. Because again, like I said, I still support VPNs. I'm still a big fan of Molvat. I'm still a big fan of a handful of other VPNs. 
But a VPN is not enough like it once was. Seven years ago, just having a VPN would put you in the top 1% of private security. Right now, a VPN really just blocks out your ISP and some basic websites. That's really all it does. So you need to start elevating your technology and your digital game, which is why in the Ghost program, we started elevating it for our clients so they can be ahead of the game. You always wanna be ahead. You don't wanna be behind, always playing catch up. So check out Notes Nook. If you write anything or have any kind of data, in my opinion, it is vital. Veracrypt, now you have heard me talk about Veracrypt before, undoubtedly, but Again, you can actually use Veracrypt in Linux, in containers, and remove it through Raspberry Pi. Now, you can encrypt your Raspberry Pi data. This is vital because this is the device you can put with you on your keychain, you can have with you in your pocket. I've showed how I have my hardware wallet, or my hardware wallets, but also my hardware authenticators, like YubiKey, and all of these I keep in blackout bags. So similar to I keep my burner phones in blackout bags, I keep my hardware keys in blackout bags, because it's a technology device that can be brute force, and the same thing with any kind of authenticator or any kind of Raspberry Pi, which is just a microcomputer. So keep in mind that you want to protect these devices, but this allows you to remove pieces. So I use cubes and I also use Hunix, which I'm a huge fan of, but this allows me to compartmentalize and remove pieces from my data sets all across my servers, all across my web hosts, all across my websites, all across my business network, internal network, personal network, and this allows it to be simple, easy, effective, a third grader could do this, but the value you're gonna get is at a very high level. I would argue uh, probably 50 to 60% of governments don't have that value in the Eastern world. So keep that in mind, like you're really starting to level up your game. So Veracrypt on your device is vital. Apple, I recommend it. Linux, I recommend it. Microsoft, I recommend you get a new device. But the reality is, this is a great option. So look into Veracrypt, but also look into Veracrypt for your Raspberry Pi. Also look to Veracrypt in containers, taking your Veracrypt to another level, and then taking your Veracrypt files and putting them on your own removable hard drive, SSD, encrypted, whatever you use, and then you can pair that with your, with your Raspberry Pi. Now, I don't want you to have 100 devices, but it's really four devices. There's four devices every one of you should have. A hardware wallet, at least one minimum. Compartmentalizing is good, but at least one hardware wallet, at least one authenticator. Now, I recommend buying them in pairs. It's kind of like when, you buy, when you, you buy a vehicle, you usually get a spare key. If it doesn't come with one, you get a spare key made. So I recommend having a spare key to your authenticator. But have a hardware wallet, have an authenticator, you know, like a YubiKey, have a Raspberry Pi, and have an encrypted hard drive. Now, nowadays, th these can all fit in the palm of my hand. Like, we're not talking big device. You're not having to lug around a duffel bag. Like, these are simple things you can put in, in, in my, I can put in my jacket pockets. And then the fifth thing is you should always have your own hotspot, which I've done videos about encrypted hotspots, Netgear, Nighthawk, all these other things, uh, MoFi routers. You should always have your own hotspot. You should never use Wi-Fi that isn't yours. But I'm going way off the deep end, but I really want to make sure you guys are private and secure and you're not falling for these tricks. Identity theft is like a trillion dollar industry and that's not an exaggeration. And I don't want you to fall for it. As somebody who unfortunately was a massive victim of this about what, 13, 14 years ago, I don't ever want it to happen to anybody. So these things will protect you. And most of the things on this list, have you realized that it's almost no money? Like you think like, oh, I gotta spend like 20 grand. No, dude, you don't have to spend a lot of money to really elevate yourself. So this is vital. The next one is Hoonix. I just had to touch on it. I know I just said Cubes or Hoonix. Cubes is more for experts. So if you're a techie, definitely use Cubes. I've used Cubes for years. But Hoonix is just my favorite. It's just amazing. And I still use Hoonix all the time. Hoonix is just a winner. Skiff, privacy first end-to-end -end encrypted email. We've heard this before, ProtonMail, no, no. I've been playing around with Skiff. Listen, email is not a great protocol, but it's still something we use, kind of like regular snail mail. It's like, we haven't really advanced as a society when it comes to delivering and receiving both digital and physical pieces of mail. So Skiff is an interesting one. It's one I've been using a lot lately. It's one I recommend you guys check out. It does have a suite of services as well. So if you're in business, listen, if you're using, you wouldn't believe how many people email me from Yahoo. Bro, it's Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. I still get emails from AOL. 
like 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 yesterday I get a lot of email well I get so much e oh my gosh I get so much email AOL is not uncommon Yahoo is not uncommon MSN is that even a thing it's not uncommon I didn't even think that was a thing anymore Gmail is half the people who email me probably have Gmail okay I get it you're just getting into the fold not a problem I totally respect that but like at least use the best of the worst. You know what I mean? So Skip is a great option. I recommend all of you check it out. Does Skip use crypto? Yes, I think I forgot to add that. But yes, of course. Libre Wolf. Libre Wolf is slowly but surely inching towards my favorite. So check it out. I highly recommend it. It's a very valuable solution for a problem that exists in an extreme fashion that we really need to solve. Libre Wolf is really starting to inch up and, and gain ground in my opinion. So that's the ones I wanted to say. Those are the seven. I'll be doing some tutorials on those. Let me know which ones you would prefer to see tutorials on because I can move those up in my list. Make sure you're on my newsletter because I'm literally going full fire, all out, everything I got, every issue. Issue number one was an enormous success. Also, if you know anybody who could who could gain value, maybe change their perspective, because again, this email newsletter, there's no marketing, there's no plugs, there's no sponsors. It is just the core content, a lot of which you will not see anywhere else because people don't have the huevos to put these out there. And I do because I've already been attacked by governments intelligence agencies, everyone you can think of, everything I do is legal and above board and they know it, they hate me, they despise my existence, but they can't stop me because I'm doing what I'm doing because we the people are going to win this war, in my opinion, or I'm gonna die trying. So, that says, check out the newsletter, the first 15 of you, sorry guys, I have to limit it to 15, so if the link on Get Ghosted is still live, you can sign up, the full ghost program, and we'll get you set up with the regular program, but also the advanced trust, because those are now officially a thing as of the last 30 days. I haven't talked about them because I want to do it for myself, my corporate clients. Listen, it's okay if I test some things on my corporate clients. They're richer than all get out anyway, but I never test things on us. We're the real community. And so I want to make sure everything works first, like I always do. That's why my program works so well, because, <laughs> because I do the tests on the people who spend exorbitant amounts of money on this stuff, the Privacy X, and then you guys get the benefit of it. So, really appreciate you guys channel this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, put out new content all the time, hop on the newsletter, have an amazing day. Privacy is a right, and it's a right that really, really needs to be fought for. And so, like I said, if you know anybody who needs to kind of wake up a little, I think my newsletter can help kind of nudge them in the right direction, gives them a lot of advice, gives them a lot of insight on what's really happening. Like in this last one, I talked about email and purging and a lot of this stuff. So excited about that. Appreciate you guys. This is going to be an amazing year coming up. We got some really cool stuff. We've had some massive setbacks, which has been unfortunate. Most of them I've kept close to the vest this year because there's been some issues, but we're, we're finally starting to see some blue skies again, like we saw two years ago. Two years ago was great. This last year has been rough. Next year is going to be amazing. I hope it's amazing for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow!